Okay, so we're going to be putting up in the RV. Is my head cut off in the picture? No, we got about that much above Good. Good, so we'll put our uh, 10 2 with ground into our connector here. It's indoors, so we don't have to have the weatherproof box, but they have it, so we're going to use it. And we'll screw it onto the wall with our screw gun here. On a level? Uh, let's see. Let's do a level. Okay. Yeah, get the little level on there. Perfectly level. Look at that. We got lucky. Yeah. This is a indoor box, but we have a weatherproof connector, so we'll just use it because we have it. And uh, we'll hook our 30 amp receptacle up. This is an RV receptacle. It's a 120 volt, so it's on a 30 amp breaker. So we'll just score lightly down the middle here. And I'll dig deeper at the end where it's going to be uh, cut off. Okay, we'll get all our debris out. Okay, we'll get the black right now. And I'll put the garbage right in the garbage can there. Thank you. Clip our debris off so it's all nice and clean and we'll throw it in the garbage. We'll take our receptacle. And on the back of the receptacle, you'll see a green screw, which is the ground wire, brass screw, which is the black wire, and the white wire goes to the silver colored screw. So it's the same color coding as on your 120 volt outlet. And this is a three prong 30 amp 120 volt outlet. So we can uh, cut our wires down to the lengths we're going to use. Alrighty, they made it in the garbage. Okay, we'll strip our conductor here. And make sure we don't strip too much. It's all right. Okay. 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 And we'll see how we did with our strip here. Okay, I can take a smidgen more off of that one. And that one was just perfect, so we're going to just take a smidgen more off the white wire, just a very tiny smidgen. Don't worry about it. Okay, so here in the country I was born in, we put our white wire under the silver colored terminal. And we'll tighten it up. Okay, we'll get it nice and tight. We'll put our black wire under the uh, brass colored terminal. Make sure they're tight. Okay, now we'll put our ground wire under the green terminal here, so we'll bring it down this way.
Okay, so I'll push it down into our hole all the way here, make sure it's in all the way. Make sure it's nice and tight. And I'll bring the camera over close so you can see it. Okay, so now we can fold our wires into the box to fit in the way we want them to. Fit in nice and perfect here. Screw our outlet back into the box here. These are held in with four screws because it's a bigger plug. Okay, I'm just going to make sure no wire is pinched here. It's not pinched. White's not pinched. Make sure our ground wire is down far enough. And then we'll put our cover back on. Okay, the cover screw is not going to hit the wire. That one's not going to hit. This one's going to be close to the ground, and that one's not going to hit. So I'll just shorten the one over here by where the ground wire is. Okay, now I'll just shorten this one so we don't hit the ground wire. Okay, I got the pointy piece. Thank you. So we put this one in nice and short so we don't Hit the ground wire and push it out of the terminal. So there it is, all done. Okay. Get a close up of it. That is an indoor use 30 amp RV outlet. It's on that 30 amp single pole breaker right there. So that is how to wire a 30 amp 120 volt RV outlet. The black wire was live, the white is neutral, and the bare wire is for the ground. Here in the country I was born in, we use 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps, 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, and 10 American wire gauge on 30 amps. Black live, white neutral, bare ground, green is the ground. Red and blue are also live colors, however you may find white live in a switch loop or a 220 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. Red and blue are also live colors. Peace. Thanks for watching.